man. We are going to fly through this one. I have my, it's Monday, the 25th of August, 2025. I have my Q&A today, my campfire Q&A, part of the Unbreakable Mentorship uh, Mastermind. And man, this is, it's my favorite call of the week because people ask me questions and I get a chance to actually do some real like consulting and real doctoring and real coaching and re- because I get to answer all these questions of things that people don't know that honestly, if you're a coach and you're listening to this and you're not actually answering questions and you're giving them some well-articulated, prepped, parroted answer from something you read, you really don't know, you shouldn't be a coach. In fact, you should be smacked in the mouth. So that being said, this is a continuation of yesterday where I said, you're not going to do it. I could give you the blueprint. So in response to that, I got a bunch of you guys sending me messages. Well, if you gave me a blueprint on how to just not lose weight, but also put on muscle, I would do that. But you haven't given me one. So watch this. Today, I'm going to give you one for men and for women. I will explain exactly how to do it line by line. And most of you still aren't going to do it. That's what's crazy to me. I don't understand. I really don't understand. You're talking to a 52-year-old guy missing a lung who's been married for 20 years to his best friend with two kids who's gone through hell to get to where he is and still has all kinds of fires to put out every day. And I just keep going. You have no excuse. The excuse you have is listening to all the other people that tell you it's okay to have an excuse. So listen, and by the way, none of this is meant to prescribe, treat, advise, diagnose, triage, nothing. And it's all hypothetical, entertaining, and uh, purely educational. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, let's get to work. If you had a blueprint, I'll tell you this. I said it yesterday. If you had a blueprint to lose the weight you wanted, you still wouldn't do it. That is the comedy. That is the punchline of this entire thing in life. I could hand you a step-by-step playbook proven in humans, guaranteed to strip fat off your body, add muscle, fix that energy problem, give you back sex drive that doesn't require some weird prescription to some ungodly website you probably shouldn't be on, you know, and you still wouldn't do it. It would solve all your problems and you still wouldn't do it because your psychology is so screwed up. You don't actually want to change. You want a novelty. You want entertainment. You want to scroll while your arteries are just getting harder. Like that old ass piece of Play-Doh that sits in that tub that we had when we were a kid. And then you tell yourself, I'm just researching. I'm working on it, bro. I'm still doing it. I'm moving forward. I'm just, I'm taking a different angle. I've heard all of the stuff from you guys. And yet I come out here and give you the answers. So here we go. I'll do it again. And you keep searching for the next thing. And here I am giving you that next thing. It's easy. If you don't like needles, too bad. Grow up. If you don't like things that taste a little yucky, too bad. How about you just go, I want the results. And if you go, is it safe? 100% better than anything else you're ever doing, by the way. Like you wait for the next cleanse, next tea, next whatever big bowl full of ice that you shove your face into, the next pill, the next influencer that tells you it's not your fault. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. So how about you just rip off the bandaid? How about I just give you something that actually crushes and then you can decide what to do with it. I'll give you all the information and then you decide. And if you want to actually get it from some place that is a reliable source, Elite Biogenics. No, that is not a commercial or you should get it. I know because everything is tested here in the US and it's real. And it's not some weird, you know, hashtag influencer guy on Huntington Beach that doesn't know his ass from his elbow that should shut the hell up about peptides. If you're listening to this, you know damn well who you are. You have no business giving people advice because you're going to hurt people. And anyone else, by the way, that thinks they're an expert, go live with me. I'll say it over and over. I haven't gotten a message yet. Go live with me. How about I give you an answer, you guys, that uses real physiology, human, hardwired human biology to just demolish all those excuses and just give you the answer you want. Just give you the results. First of all, by the way, how about we just take out the trash first? And I, I'm going to start with that because I think a lot of you guys are have this misconception. Semaglutide, like, let's just take out the garbage. That's what this is. Semaglutide, trash. Terzepatide, trash. And don't misunderstand me. Yes, they quote unquote work. You will drop weight. You will not drop fat. They strip muscle along with fat. They leave you weaker, metabolically fragile, and they set you up for the worst rebound the minute you come off of it, 100% guaranteed. Because here's the physiology. Semaglutide is a GLP-1. It slows something called gastric emptying. And along with that, married is suppressing your appetite. And it improves something called satiety. Well, it sounds great, except it doesn't protect lean muscle mass whatsoever. It doesn't matter how hard you work out. You're going to lose muscle. And muscle is the single greatest predictor of metabolic health, longevity, functional independence, life, period. You lose it and you have traded fat and your life for frailty and potential disease. Terzepatide adds a new one, GIP. And GIP agonism is, 
I've explained this so many times, I just don't want to. It's better appetite control, better insulin response. I'm getting, it doesn't protect any muscle whatsoever. I don't care who you are. You guys going, yes, it did. It worked for me. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. And worse, it locks you into dependency. That's the problem with terzepatide. Your pancreas gets lazy on this one. Your metabolism adapts. And when you stop, boom, rebound city, baby. It doesn't work. It's, it's like cutting calories without cutting the the psychological addiction to food, not the physiological, psych, as I said it before, there's food is not addictive. The psychological need to punch that satiety button all the time. You can't medicate your way out of discipline. You can't peptide your way out of discipline. You can't. You O-R-K. That's it. And yes, I'll talk about Reddit True Tide again because it works. But that's not all this is built on before you're like, oh, here we go again. You need to listen to me because if you have a tool to build, you guys going to go outside with a and build your house like Noah built the ark? No, you're not. Why do you use machines? Why do you use cordless drills? Why, like, stop thinking that a tool for your body that I, are cordless drills, drills dangerous? Bet your ass they are in the hands of an idiot. What about a compressor? Yep. What about a car? A car is a weapon. If you haven't figured that out yet, a car is a weapon. You get a license to wield a weapon, which is called an automobile. Dangerous as hell. You can, if you can find me one person, one, I'll wait, one. If any one of you guys can find me one person who has died as a direct result of a peptide, I'd love to hear it. Zero percent of you guys can do that. So before you wonder if it's safe, you can't say that about anything in the pharmaceutical world whatsoever. Nothing. So look at Reddit True Tide because that's terzepatide and semaglutide. If you have them, I don't care how much they cost, throw them in the garbage. Just because you paid money for them doesn't mean you should keep them. So Reddit True Tide, remember, triple agonist, GLP-1, GIP, and glucagon. The easiest way to explain it is it hits obesity from three different sides. GLP-1 is appetite suppression and insulin control. GIP is better glucose disposal and satiety signaling. And glucagon is direct fat metabolism. You can sleep and still burn fat, which is exactly what it does. Let me explain in human biology what that really means. Reditrutide doesn't starve you thinner. It changes how your body prioritizes energy. It tells your liver to crack open all those fat stores because your body is desperate to store fuel no matter what. You're fighting your DNA. It keeps your blood sugar stable and it forces your mitochondria to actually run clean instead of like old crappy fuel you found in some farmer's garage. It's not eat less and lose weight. This is metabolic remodeling. It's like an upgrade to your operating system. It's the best way I can describe it. Your appetite is gone. Your energy is higher. Your fat burning is cranked through the roof and longevity pathways are actually doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is helping you live longer. But here's the catch though. Red and true time makes you lose weight so efficiently that if you don't protect the muscle, you're still going to be screwed because you're not going to want to eat. It almost makes you hate food. I'm going to give you the full transparency. Most people don't do that. Just buy my shit. You can, but you still need to force yourself to eat some food. Red or True Tide is that good. You're going to look better in clothes, but naked. You're still going to look a little bit like a melted candle if you don't take care of the system. Because what I've noticed with a lot of people in Red or True Tide alone is they don't want to work out because they don't have the energy to work out as much as they thought. They do. You have a lot more energy than you think, but they just kind of feel like, ah, I'm just... I'm neutral. I'm content where I am. But you do that all day without eating. Your body still pays the price. So the question I get all the time is, what if I just don't want to lose weight? What if I want to build muscle and lose fat? Now you're asking the right question. So I will go female, male, and then hasta la pasta. I got to make this call. So I'm, let me look at my phone here real quick. 443. I have 17 minutes to knock this out. So we are going to turn and burn. So for women, string, carterine, red, a true tide, without question, two are oral, one is injectable because women need anabolic signaling without all that androgenic overload. That's what Osterine does. Osterine is um, MK2866. If you've seen it either on my site or anywhere out, you're looking it up. Selectively binds to androgen re receptors in skeletal muscle and bone only, only. No reproductive tissue. That's a big deal in a woman because it doesn't affect your hormones in a negative way. It ramps up protein synthesis without triggering all those masculinizing side effects. You don't get a deep voice in an Adam's apple and start wrestling with your neighbor about flipping tires in their backyard or whatever it is you, uh, you would do. Women get strength and joint support and lean tissue preservation without growing a beard or sounding like, what's his name from Pitch Black, uh, Vin Diesel, right? Or Groot, I guess I could say that too. When you marry it with carterine, Carterine, it's not a SARM. It's, I've talked about this before. It's a PPA or Delta agonist. It means it hacks your mitochondria. I'm going to change that word because that's not really what it does. And I, I slipped out on me. It, it tells your mitochondria to prioritize fatty acids and specifically fatty acids for energy, not for like just to use to work ATP, energy currency of the body, right? So what happens is endurance goes up, VO2 max improves, triglycerides drop and you stop being this carb slave and you start running your engine on fat the way it's designed, but you don't notice the transfer. You just run better. 
Now you stack that with Reddit True Tide. Now you see how this works. And I think a lot of these, you can tell these peptide idiots that don't know what they're talking about. These Insta bros make me want to punch them in the face. Because, and if this is you, dude, you bug me. You bug me a lot. Like, come here and get on the mat with me just so I can put you the fuck to sleep. Because I can't stand that. You guys are going to hurt people because you're lying to people because you want to make a sale. Listen, you want to buy from Elite Biogenics? Great. You want to get information from this to make your own decision and just decide what you want to do later? Great. But I want you to have the information so you actually make an informed decision instead of going, I don't know, this guy just made a good argument and his marketing was awesome. Screw that. So when you marry these two things, Austrian and Cardarine with Reddit True Tide, appetite's gone, blood sugar is stable, fat stores, it's literally open season on all this stuff. So the physiology is virtually seamless and you don't have any of these weird effects that you'd expect with somebody that's pairing stuff together improperly. Reddit True Tide suppresses the cravings. Cardarine flips on the metabolic switch so you burn all the fat properly and that's all you burn. Austrine locks in the lean muscle tissue so you don't look like a deflated candle or a deflated balloon. So here's what happens though. Women come out leaner, stronger, and more insulin sensitive, which is what you want, by the way, without sacrificing their femininity. Yeah, sign me up. And if you go, well, it's really expensive. Not even close. Listen, you guys are going to spend a ton of money on the dumbest things on earth anyway. You buy one pair of Lulu pants or you buy a Louis Vuitton purse and it's like five grand. You're not going to spend that in two years on this, but hey, you do you, boo. So now if you look at men, it's a little bit different. Same baseline, dream, hardering, and red a true tide, but now you add a hammer and the hammer is rad 140 because we can take it as men. Don't do this if you're a woman. I don't care how badly you want to stack on muscle. It's not going to help you in a way you think. You're going to wind up growing external plumbing. Don't do that. So rad 140 is Austrian's bigger, tougher, inner, angrier, way more effective, much better trained brother. That's how you have to look at this. It slams into androgen receptors significantly harder, hence you get all the results, but it drives hypertrophy in a way, it, it's not an accelerator for women. I'll say that again, this is for men only. It drives hypertrophy and strength and recovery at a significantly higher level. Let's just say that it's incredibly effective. It's also oral. Again, three orals, one injection. This stuff is so easy to do. I guess it's easy not to do. That's probably the problem. But it, it's not just cosmetic, you guys. It, RAD140, there's so many studies out there that show RAD140 has neuroprotective effects in the hippocampus, which is also what is affected by Reditrutide, which not only does it fix the craving for food, for filling your pie hole and, and blowing up like a balloon, it actually solves why it's even doing it in the first place. It fixes your neurology. It builds muscle, protects your brain, and you won't look solid and muscular like a superhero you'll actually think and function like one because you get sharper. Cognitively, you get sharper. Now you marry it with Austrian and Carterine and Reddit True Tide and you've got an entire package that is not causing harm. It's actually fixing your body. It makes you function better. You function like an 18-year-old. Muscles preserved and grown. Fats oxidized at the mitochondrial level. So we're talking molecular level. Appetite is destroyed. Insulin is optimized. Glucagon's firing fat loss like, like a nitro engine. Like it's so effective. This is the difference between weight loss and physical remodeling and operating system upgrades. One makes you smaller and the other one makes you pretty much unrecognizable when you go a year later. People go, dude, what did you do? And everybody's going to go, yeah, but you're on gear. And I went over that as well. You can take all the gear you want. I don't care how much you take. If you sit your big butt on the couch and you do nothing, all that gear is doing is costing you money. So let me, let me explain a little bit of the science behind this so you can understand the physiology about whether or not this is safe. So what I'm doing is shutting up the crowd that goes, oh, but I don't think that's safe. I'm going to go back to my protein powders and you know my, my what are thermogenic fat burners. True Tide modulates GLP-1, GIP, and glucagon pathways. So it improves insulin sensitivity and it reduces hyperglycemia. That is diabetes reversal territory. Just so you understand if this is safe, it's beyond safe. It's changing your physiology. Carterine activates, I said, PPAR delta. So it cranks up fatty acid oxidation and mitochondrial biogenesis, which means you make more furnaces, more engines, more mitochondria, more energy, more energy because of more fat burned. You saw already symbiotic relationship. Now, look at Austrian and RAD140. It shows neuroprotective effects, actually along with Reddit True Tide, binds androgen receptors in brain tissue, which not just reduces, it kills neurodegenerative stress. Find me any pharmace pharmaceutical that does that. You can't. Lean muscle mass is the greatest predictor of longevity and functional independence, I said before, in the world. You lose it, you die early. I came out of the hospital with tubes coming out of my chest the size of a garden hose, missing a lung, and the doctor said, if you weren't in this condition you were in when you came in here, you would not have made it. 
you all saw me when I went in and you all saw me when I came out. If I, if I went in the way I came out, I wouldn't have come. So when you build it, you live better and longer. This, these two stacks, they don't fight your biology. They actually leverage the way your system is designed to operate. So, and I do, I think some of you guys just need a good smack in the mouth because you keep dropping $800 a month on supplements. This isn't even close to that amount of money. Number one and number two is they don't work. Most of you guys aren't going to do this. You guys, you're not, you guys are going to nod and clap and go, yeah, this actually makes sense. Maybe you'll take some notes. I, I really don't know. I also don't care. And then tomorrow morning, you're going to eat a bagel the size of your frigging head. And you're going to convince yourself that carbs give you energy. And this influencer said carbs actually aren't that bad. And you're going to say, well, but isn't this really risky? I, I heard peptides aren't approved. And what about those, like the PPA or Delta agonist and the, and the SARMs and the SARMs? And all, what about all that stuff? It, while you drink four pumpkin spice lattes a friggin' week with 80 grams of sugar each, and then you're going to say, but I want something a little more natural. I'm going to do it more authentic. You should be smacked in the mouth because that's the same person that takes antidepressants, sleeping pills, Benadryl every night to go to sleep, or ZQL, also known as Benadryl and birth control that wreck your hormones harder than any SARM or SERM ever could. You're not worried about the risk, you guys. You're not. You're allergic to discipline. That's the truth. You'd rather die slow and comfortable and justified than live this lean, powerful, sharp, unstoppable life. That's the difference. Listen, obesity kills more people than every other drug combined. Your safe lifestyle with your pumpkin spice lattes is a death sentence. You want safe? Then get lean, get strong, build muscle, take care of your damn health, fix your metabolism, because nothing is more dangerous than staying the same. So let me, again, here's the blueprint. Super tight, because I, I got to go. I got like seven minutes. Women, Osterine, Carterine, Redetrutide. Men, Osterine, Carterine, Rad140, Redetrutide. I already went over it. If you're going to ask me for dosages, look at the research that is in my research packet that you can get when you message me on Instagram specifically, and you'll see what I'm talking about later today. This isn't magic. This isn't some influencer hype or some bunky garbage that you see on social media. This is actually a doctor going, this is how you do it right so you actually have longevity. It's just physiology finally working in your favor instead of against you guys. Your appetite's gone, your fat gets oxidized, muscle gets preserved, or, and it grows, and your brain is protected. All of those things matter. The only variable left, just so you know, is you. It's not anything you're taking now. It is you, baby. Because if you had the blueprint to lose weight and precisely the weight that you wanted to build the muscle that you need and live the life that you say all the time that you want, you tell everybody I want this, you still won't do it. That's most of you. Just to be clear for the ones that are going to though, for the few who are actually going to be like, dude, sign me up. Where do I do this? How do I do it? You're not just going to lose weight. You are going to crush the hell out of this. And just for the record, that's how you win. I got to go. Never miss.